Hi, I'm Dr. Ted, and this is Fracture Friday. For this episode, I have scapular fractures. They're interesting because they require a t quite a bit of energy for it to happen. It's usually a fall off of a height normally, but onto your back where you hit flat on the surface that you're falling onto and it breaks the scapula. They're associated with a very high incidence of closed head trauma as well. In other words, when you hit your back hard like that, you're most likely to clunk your head on whatever you're falling onto too. So that can lead to uh, subdural hematomas or open or closed skull fractures, blah, 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 lots of ugly things. So this AP here, x-ray, shows a scapular fracture. It's kind of hard to see because it's a scapular body fracture. It doesn't involve the actual shoulder joint or the glenoid of the shoulder joint. So these fractures, interestingly enough, are typically treated conservatively. We don't do anything other than a sling um, and let the fracture heal. Um, I have here the CT scan of that same fracture because it's actually a lot more dramatic on the CT scan than it actually is on the plain x-rays. But um, it shows a little bit more of what I'm talking about. But even with this displacement and as bad as this CT scan here looks, um, it's still treated conservatively with a shoulder immobilizer, which is basically an arm sling that has a swath that runs around your waist to keep your arm from swinging out from your body to keep your shoulder immobilized, not just your arm immobilized. So the, basically the ultimate treatment is to get the fracture to heal, which it almost always heals without any kind of need for surgical intervention. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hi, Dr. Ted. Thanks for sticking around after the video. If you'd like to see some more content from us, please subscribe to the channel and like this video.